cup of coffee, then I'll... Well, welcome back to Coffee Time. It's been a while. What's it, what's it been, like six weeks to get my voice back? <clears throat> and not croak like a frog and... Well, I might clear my throat a little. I won't be coughing through the video and have to edit 40 or 50 coughs out of there. I hope. I haven't talked much. So let's see how it goes. I'm preparing for the big move. So I'm pretty busy. I've got uh, less than a month to go. And it just seems like there's an awful lot to do. A lot of people to say goodbye to. A lot of things to wrap up. And of course, packing. But I have a surprise for everyone. Well, first of all, I will be returning to Cuenca probably three or four times a year. Um, I don't know exactly what yet, but I'll be coming back. I'm retaining my uh, visa. Uh, I'm at the point I can be gone for five years. I may even get my citizenship. I'm eligible. Uh, I don't know yet. I'm thinking about that. But it would be nice just to never have to deal with paperwork again, regardless of what I want to do. <clears throat> I don't hate on Cuenca. And some people have this idea that because I point out some negatives that, um, well, if you don't like Cuenca, why do you bother living here? Well, I live here because I like living here. It isn't about that. And I've said, a zillion times that there's plenty of fluff pieces out there particularly on Cuenca and my goal in these videos is to be realistic and if you're going to be realistic you're going to point out the downside also and there are downsides to any place you're going to be unless you die and go to heaven and even there I don't know if there's a downside I mean I haven't been there and haven't heard any reports but uh, certainly on this planet there's going to be good and bad and as I've said many times before if you're going to uproot and come here the, the whole point of these videos is that you have a complete and accurate picture as much as I can make it based on my experience my opinions and so there's going to be downsides just because I talk about that doesn't mean I hate on Cuenca. I mean, I've been here for three years. How much can I possibly hate it, right? But I'm going to get to that later in this video. Uh, something I think you're going to find interesting. So I am preparing the big move. And it's a big move for me. I'm all set on the other end. I just have to show up and unpack my bags and I'm, I'm good to go there. But I have a surprise for everyone. I hope I can do it justice. It will be in about four to five weeks. I'm doing a lot of preparation for it over these next few weeks before I move. And it's going to be a video that will be my farewell love letter, if you will, to Cuenca. And I sincerely hope you enjoy it and get something out of it. Uh, this is the most uh, aggressive endeavor I've undertaken, and uh, I don't know how long it's going to be. I have a hunch it might be almost like a mini movie, in which case I'll probably break it up into two or three parts. Um, I really want to do it justice. So any videos between now and when I actually get to Columbia, Honestly, they're going to be hit and miss. I'm really busy. Doesn't mean I'm not working on videos, and you will see this when that video or video parts come out. I hope you like it. Now, while we're at this point, and before I step into the new phase of Grand Columbia, <clears throat> which will obviously be a lot of videos about Columbia, I want to kind of mention something that um, I've alluded to before but never really discussed. And that's popular videos that I've had. 
The number one popular video, and I'll put up a, a chart here off of uh, YouTube, but the number one popular video that I did was Cuenca, Ecuador, for men only. And I have to tell you that while I've got some really good feedback on that, I've gotten an inordinate amount of hate mail over that video. And almost every one of the hate mails, and I mean, it might go to the hundreds, but certainly dozens and dozens. And almost every one were people that obviously didn't actually watch the video that looked at the title, looked at the thumbnail, which was just a photo I grabbed off of, I think it was in Thailand, just grabbed it off there. And the abuse was strong. I've had to delete so many nasty, filthy comments off of YouTube on this video. And it's really strange that it would happen with this video because it was not promoting a sex trade to come to Ecuador or Cuenca. As a matter of fact, it was the exact opposite. It was my response to people that were kept asking me to the point where I just wanted to end it so I did a video and I actually did a follow-up video trying to explain it that these guys wanted to come here as though it were Thailand where they could just have more money than the local populace and just by virtue of that they could have themselves some 18 year old sex slave apparently and this video in response to that which started out with some of the inane questions that I would be asked what are the girls like are they pretty what? And I started the video with that tone of voice, with that sarcasm, which people took as me being serious, apparently, or talking about myself, which was the farthest thing. But in that video, the entire point was to tell you that you're barking up the wrong tree. If that's what you're looking for, if that's the reason you think you want to come to Ecuador, then don't bother coming. The culture is not like that. It's a conservative culture. Young girls don't want old geezers. Young girls want something serious. They want marriage. They want two or three years of dating and meet the family and be approved by the community. It's, it, it, of course, there's always exceptions. But it is not a culture that just is going to drop down on their knees and praise you because you got a few more dollars than they do. This is not the place for that. You can go to Cambodia, you can go to Thailand, you can go to Vietnam. I've been to Vietnam, I've been to Thailand some years ago, but I remember just walking down the street, you would have these girls come and approach you out of desperation. And it's, it's kind of an uncomfortable, well, I guess unless you're there for that, for me, it was kind of an uncomfortable feeling. You have these little kids that come along and they're begging and they just, you know, they just want these coins and it's, it's one of the things I did not like about those countries at that time. But I've been to countries that are like what these guys are looking for and there's people that will do anything for money. And my video told people that Ecuador is not like that. And so I would get slammed, guys from Ecuador that would slam me, that would tell me that I'm some filthy old pig and if that's what I want, I should get out of here. And it's like, what are you talking about? I'm defending the virtue of people in Ecuador. So if you haven't seen that video, I don't know if you're gonna to wanna to watch it. You know, it doesn't really apply to but these people that are looking for sex tourism or whatever that I kind of wanted to shut up and deviate to another, there's a good word for it, deviate to another place because Ecuador really isn't that kind of place, at least in the mountains in Cuenca. Now on the coast, I don't know, they're more liberal there maybe, but um, it was all kind of cringe-worthy, but 
it did need to be addressed. I, you know, somebody needs to talk about these things, and, and so I did in that video. And to this day, I still get abused over that video, and I thought I was doing a good thing, and I was being honest. The second one that I get the most hate mail as you'll see, Cuenca, Ecuador, six things I don't like. Now I grabbed the screenshot and it said six things I hate. I actually didn't make that and it's titled six things I don't like. But I didn't find a little thumbnail that said I don't like, so I took that. It was a companion video. There were two videos, one next to the other. One was six things I love about Cuenca. The other was six things I don't like about Cuenca. Makes sense, right? Few people watched the six things that I, that I love about Cuenca. It really is a very low amount of views. A lot of people watched of what, almost 11,000 people watched things, six things that I don't like. And that's the second amount of abuse that I get. Which is really funny because none of it is like deal breaker. I talk about the wild dogs, which actually, since I made that video, I think close to two years ago, they've been cleaning it up quietly, almost secretly, but they've been cleaning the dogs out of Cuenca. They still are here, but nothing like they were a few years ago. I'm not seeing wild packs of 30 and 40 dogs that I saw on a regular basis three years ago. But it was true, and it's still true today. You still have street dogs. I talked about the graffiti. Now, I mentioned the beautiful graffiti, but I talked about the graffiti that drives business owners crazy and knowing and having friends with several people that own businesses that have to constantly address the graffiti problem. I brought it up because in some places it's really ugly, some places it's really nasty, some places it's very divisive politics, and we all know that's not good for anybody. I didn't go into any depth. I showed some and I said I really don't like that, you know, that it's so rampant here. And there's some other things. All true. The number one comment I would get on that from people from Ecuador. If you don't like it here, go home. Go watch the other video about six things I love. No one said that the six things weren't true. As a matter of fact, I would get statements such as, well, that may be, but you don't have to point it out. Well, yes, I do. That's the entire point of my video. This is not a, everything is perfect, come on here, and I'm getting a kickback from some travel agency. It's not about that. This is about, hey, I live here. This is what it's like. The seedy side and all. This is, if you come here, this is what you're going to see. This is what you can expect. So you're prepared. You don't, you know, maybe a little less culture shock. Graffiti doesn't stop me from living here. It's just, it gets a bit out of control. And, and so, these things are real and legitimate. But the, if you, if you hate it here so much, then why don't you go home? Well, I kind of am home, right? <laughs> okay. So, so I just wanted to point those two videos out and uh, a little behind the scenes things that uh, you don't see. Now, that's two videos. I've got 260 some odd videos. And by far, I get an amazing amount of positive comments from people that are coming here. I get lots of emails asking me more detailed questions. What about this? What about that? And I try to answer them all. Uh, if it's something I don't know about, I just tell them I don't know about it. I don't have time to go research that. If it's, if it's intriguing enough, I try to do a video at some point on it to respond. But as you know, it takes a certain amount of research and questioning of people for me to put that together. So if it's worthy, I'll do that. 
if it's kind of frivolous, I, I just don't have time, honestly. Um, so, huge amount of positive comments on 265 videos, but those two videos, which are in the, uh, you know, the top four or five of the most watched, I just, to this day, I still get ridiculous comments. Foul, vulgar, nasty. I just had some girl um, post ridiculous statements. That actually, it was so foul I had to block her from the channel. Because I, I just can't have that kind of stuff on there. Um, but it was, you know, it ended with the usual, you know, Yankee go home kind of thing. Wow. So, a uh, little insight. Uh, what's going on with the channel? Is there anything else? Well, yeah, when I get to Columbia, I'm actually going to work to make this a profit center. In the three years I've been here in Cuenca, I have really not done that. As a matter of fact, I've worked against that. I didn't want it to color my opinion about Cuenca. I was there over these three years with you, learning, seeing, absorbing, uh, forming valid opinions because at first blush you don't know. You know, cost of living, you know, what I thought it was in the beginning was different six months. A year later, your perception greatly changes. So, you know, I was going through that along with you. Now, Columbia, having lived there before and been so many times, I'm in a different place there. I really know my way around. I know what's going on. Uh, most of my opinions were formed a long time ago. Also, as I've mentioned before, part of my income came from online consulting, which was really good when I arrived. I went to Hiron, where the internet was kind of hit and miss, I began losing clients. And then when I came back to Cuenca, I was just kind of getting at the end of the road. I mean, two or three to four years of consulting various businesses, at some point, they don't really need you anymore. So, I mean, no knock on anybody. That's just how it goes. And being here, it's not the same as being in the U.S. where you can go to seminars, you're seeing businesses, you're doing on-site consulting, and you're being introduced to other people. You're, you're forming that network where you have a continuous flow. It was very successful for me. I did a lot of good for a lot of businesses. I'm very good at certain things that people are willing to pay for and they profit benefit, and so they would continue for a number of years. But we're really at the tail end of that. And the only way I could regenerate that would be go back to the U.S., which one would be very expensive, time consuming. I'd have to be there for some time. I don't want to go through that. I'm busy building my life here. So I need to replace that. And so I am going to build this into a profit center. It will become part of my job. So things will change as a result of that. Um, it's not like you're going to have to pay to see videos, but I will be doing things to promote financial benefit to support making the videos to come. So if you have any questions on that, feel free to ask. Don't hate me for it. Everybody needs to work to make money. I'm no exception, and uh, one thing I can tell you is I'm being very careful and selective about how that's going to take place, so it will never be a conflict between telling the truth and making money. There's a way to do something ethical, correctly, and honestly, and still make money. All my years in business, it's the way I operated. This won't be any different. So, that's it for today. I'll see you soon.